Okay, what is up guys? It's me Sean here. You're watching Jobs Advisor channel. In this video, we are going to talk about food survey Qatar Airways job and I will discuss about uh, like you can say everything. And if you have already applied for this position or if you have received the offer letter and you are going to join the company, then this video is for you. All right. So in the future, if you are going to apply for this position, I have added all the information which you really needed like the salary, job requirement, document requirements, role requirements and complete structure for the salary and how much is the growth and what you will get and the benefits as well. So I will start one by one so it will take some time. So I want you to watch this video till end not for myself but for yourself. So if you will watch the video till the end then you don't need to ask any questions. right? Still you can ask me any questions but the thing is here once you have watched all the video carefully then trust me there is nothing less you are going to ask me about the job so we are going to start the video so a fully detailed video about this position let's start <clears throat> job description you can read it on the screen but i am going to um, talk about you can say in the short form okay what exactly you are going to do you will be in the food and beverage department there is a one girl i think she's from kenya she's requesting me uh from many days she said okay sean make this video make this guys okay I, I forgot the name but thanks for that anyway if she's watching and wish you all the best please do more and speak less don't share your personal thoughts and secrets with everyone all right <clears throat> guys i'm really sick so that's why i'm just doing like this anyway <clears throat> now Okay, so you are going to read the screen. I will speak right now. Now I'm trying to say that uh, if you are going to start the job as a food server, definitely in every department in Qatar Airways, there, there are so many departments like subsidiary, subsidiaries. Like if you are going to join QDF, they have their own F and uh, B department, food and beverage department. In HIA, they have their own. So sometimes they don't have because some of the department they don't have their own F and B. They will use the use it from the QDF, but the most famous is from the QDF. All right. So most of the people will start their job from the QDF side. Anyway, so now you will work as a food server, okay, and you will work with the cook and chefs and restaurant managers and everyone. But there are there are no restaurant managers, but there will be a duty manager will handle every single person team leader food server cleaners okay supervisor and then there is a senior supervisor senior team leader all they will be under the supervision of team leader uh, sorry line manager now you will work as a food server and you will greet and one second what happened this okay so what you will do let me tell you. You will do a uh, greet and seating customers, and then passengers attend and serve them food, etc. And then they will be making a menu and item recommendations, communicating with the food allergy, and then you are communicating with the passengers, asking them, asking them their recommendations, and then you are asking them what kind of food they need or if there's any request. Okay, and then you will ensure that everything is properly working. And every floor is clean you are not okay uh, what I'm going to uh, want to say you are not allowed to clean the, the, the floor they will clean it for you but the thing is here you need to inform your line manager team leader that this floor is uh, very dirty it needs to be clean okay and then they will focus on it you will serve the food that's your job you are not here for the cleaning Yes, in the kitchen side, inside the kitchen, maybe they will ask you to wash some dishes or something like that, but that's okay as compared to cleaning the floor. So anyway, so it's, it's a great two job and it's a very nice job because nowadays no one is getting the job and everyone is looking for, everyone is hunting the job, but they are unlucky. If you got the job, you are lucky. Trust me. All are, are filled quickly and they are okay and customers are really happy. You need to focus on that one. And the accurate information must be provided and the refilling the drinks as needed and checking their due, checking their needs during the meal as while they are eating something on blah, 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 blah. Anyway, 
So food and beverage department are different in each company, so don't worry. Your most of the time will be in the kitchen, so consider this as your new home. You need to listen to the people, supervisor, leader, whoever is going to lead you. If you want to get promotion, please focus on your job. Otherwise, forget it. Why I'm, why I'm saying this? Because in Qatar Airways department, in any department, there are so many proud people. If you don't make them happy with your job, trust me, they are looking for your mistakes. It, they are not going to correct you, but they will. They are making sure that you will get the complaint or you will get the warning immediately after the notice. Instead of give you some recommendations or any chance, they will give you warning letter. That's the, that's how they are working. Most of the people they are working like this, but not all of them. Some of the duty managers like Suleiman, and there are other duty managers. They are really nice. Okay, I love Suleiman, but he is in the QDF department. He is working as a line manager. Okay, he is handling all the supervisor, and then there are so many other people. So anyway, now our focus is different. Our job is different, so you don't need to focus on that one. But the thing is here, I'm giving you all information because this is the video which I'm trying to cover all the information in a single video. If, no matter how many videos I make, still people ask the questions. Okay, what is this and what is that? I don't mind this thing, but the thing is here, if you're asking me the same question which I discussed in the video, that make me hurt. But still I'm responding everyone. <clears throat> Let's get to the next page. All right, role requirements, successful candidate will do following requirement, blah, 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 okay. You should be a personal hygiene, you can read it, I will speak shortly, okay. If you know more than one language, like if you can speak Kenyan, Swahili language, if you can speak the Hindi language, that is your native language, but if you can speak English, if you can speak, um, English is uh, definitely, it's essential, but if you can speak Arabic, French, any other language that will be a very uh, good uh, benefit for you and they will hire you quickly for this role or any role flexible to work but remember you will work on shift basis okay maybe in the night maybe on the day night is okay sometimes you will be free in the day you will be getting more passengers you will work at the airport okay and then if you have experience in the waiting and the restaurant serving definitely they will hire you I made this video for everyone. It doesn't mean that you are hired. I'm give, just giving you the, all the information. I'm just making this video for everyone. So hands-on experience in cashier and uh, cashier duties. Sorry, okay. And then at, uh, attention to the clinics and safety, uh, patients and customer-oriented approach, and excellent people skills with friendly attitude and blah blah blah. These are the things which you really need. But you are selected and wish you all the best. So qualifications only high school is enough elementary high school or any certifications you have even if you don't have any education but you have some diplomas or any certifications you can still apply you can still apply for the position if you don't have any qualification but you need to speak english very well if you can speak english very well with the confidence then you are going to be hired by the company so that is it and wish you all the best and all the, these are the basic things and professional and you know common things ability to speak accurate and blah 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 and evasion sales will be preferred and like that so working hours and off days you can read it here i will give you the short one but i will read it quickly there are 10 hours and 12 hours if you work 10 hours there will be one day off it could be if you work 12 hours there will be two days off but if you work eight hours maybe one day off and then six days working like that okay two days off and five days working that is the criteria and but it could be changed to one day off depending on the department you can get leave after three months look there are all questions i'm answering you right now here you can get leave after three months after the joining of your job or position if you don't have any advance like, like if you receive the advance amount from the company while the day uh, on the day of, on the day of your joining definitely you are go not going to leave qatar until you pay the amount you can go to your country anytime okay so that is called freedom so your line manager and roster that could be the issue you need to ask your line manager i want to uh, travel on specific date if the dates are available definitely he will approve it and he will say okay these dates are booked for you 
After 10 months, you can apply to any job internally. After 10 months, okay, after 10 months, you can apply to job internally, any, any job. You will not get it, trust me. Okay, so you can get emergency leave anytime with proof of emergency. Why, what, why did I say that you will not get the job after 10 months? Why? Because you are new, you don't have experience. Trust me, there are thousands of people are working there. There are thousands of people are waiting for their number to get promoted, to get to the next career. Okay, so that's it. that is it. Salary structure, okay. One second. I didn't update the salary structure right for the, yes, it's updated, but it should be grade two, right? It's grade two, by the way. For the basic salary, it should be more than 2,700 QA, okay. And grade two, you will get three transportation, maybe 250. And accommodation grade two, you will get 1,300, I think so. Maybe, maybe I think so, or 1,200. Okay, so your total will be like, oh, one second. Um, I'm just guessing, I don't have any uh, offer letter, I don't have any salary structure, but this is my experience, okay? So what I'm trying to say, that will be your job, that will be your salary, sorry. All right. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, can you put it down? All right. You will get only basic salary. That's it. Only basic salary. No transportation, no accommodation. Because you are on grade two and the company will handle everything for yourself. Maybe they will not allow you to live outside the company accommodation. That is the rule and restrictions for girls. So you will receive only a basic salary. But the accommodation and transportation will be from the company. One time food at the airport, that is 100% sure. And you are in the food and beverage department you are okay to eat anything, by the way. You are lucky because you can eat everything there. Anyway, let's go to the next uh, page. Okay, now, <clears throat> family sponsorship, it's only above the 5,000 QR grade four plus. So forget about it if you are on grade two or grade three. Annual leave ticket, one-time ticket in a year. It's free of cost for you, for your family. Joining ticket, they will provide you. You can read everything. You can stop the video. You can read everything, okay? I'm just going to read short uh, things. So I will make it very short, uh, quickly. So joining ticket, they will provide you the joining ticket. If you are in Kenya, India, or Pakistan, or Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, they will provide you the ticket and you will travel. Travel concession on QR, you will get ID 50 unlimited for yourself or your kids for your children okay like that okay up to the 24th birthday these are these informations are officially i just get the information from the offer letter and also got from the official website right so id 90 ticket for the it's like unlimited for the qr department not for any other department so you will be working in qdf or any food uh, department but if you are later, it comes with the like QR02, it means grade two in QR department, you will get ID90 unlimited. If your department is like QDF02 or QS02 or any other, not QR, if there is any other word except QR, you will get ID90 once a year, All right? That is, uh, that is, that is how you will work. And that is how they're giving you the benefits. Health insurance, dental, it's only for above grade 6 and 5. And health insurance, life insurance. Okay, not 5 years. No, 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 no. Okay, sorry, the, this information is not for you. Because this information is only for the customer service agent. 
and reservation agent. Okay, they will provide you re relocation assistance provided, like they will ask you PPC report and the medical report, and they will give you all documents, what kind of documents you need, and how many documents you need, when do you travel, how you travel, these kind of relocation assistance they will provide. Yes, they are providing. Social benefits, this is only for the grade 5 and grade 6. Free tickets for you and for your friend as well, it's only for grade 6. Why did I include all this information? So you should know what kind of information you need, but definitely people are thinking about the, calling their friends, they can call them on their uh, sponsorship or maybe they can give them benefits from their job. No, that is not going to work. Okay, benefit for your in-laws family, yes, that is true, but you need to provide the proof. All positions are different and their benefits are also different. So most of them are the same, but some of them are very different. Most likely above five grade, above four grade. Okay. Documents required. You need to provide your resume, updated, passport side photograph, not older than six months, full length photograph only for cabin crew, but recommended for you if you want to upload. Anyway, there is no harsh. So copy of the first page of passport. Your passport should be valid at at least six months. Okay, and then the certificate of experience. If you have mentioned any experience in this resume, they will ask for it. So you need to provide it. Don't lie. Otherwise, they will reject you. And also NOC. <clears throat> Highest education certificate after selection should be attested if graduate. But if the company is requesting you to uh, give us any attested documents, definitely you need to attest it. Otherwise, no need. Don't waste your time on it. If they will ask you in the future, you can do it from your uh, embassy. They will do it for you. So... That is it, I think so. You are going to join the company and wish you all the best. And I thought I should make this video. Definitely, I'm being so lazy right now. And nowadays, I'm not making any so, uh, not so much videos. But I'm trying to make more videos right now. And today, I will make, I think, five to four videos. And I'm going to start updating videos. Look, I'm going to... Okay, I will update you regarding my new uh, feature on the channel. I'm going to discuss about the new uh, events in the Qatar, okay, what they're going to do and what is happening with Qatar Airways, how you will join, um, what are the circumstances and what are the pros and cons and everything, okay. <clears throat> so please do subscribe, press like button and press the bell icon for the latest update and upcoming videos you will watch quickly and sooner than any other person and you will, not, you will be notified. Anyway, wish you all the best guys and love you all. Please do subscribe. And I'm really sorry I'm not uploading more videos. Yes, I am continuing. I'm being so, I was so lazy. I was in some kind of depressions. But right now, I will upload more videos. So, starting from today. And uh, sorry for that. But you will see more videos in, in upcoming weeks. Anyway, love you all and see you. Bye-bye.